Hello Sharks, Sniz here, and uh, welcome back to another Shark Speak. I haven't done this in quite some time, and as you can see, I'm working on my Phantom Hyper Burn. Because, mainly because my uh, Magnificent Growth Potions are going to expire soon. I want to get to 250 so I can use them. They're the old ones from the 6th job, pre the pre 6 job uh, event. So, they gotta get used, and might as well use them on this to cheese some extra levels. Um, not much else to talk about. Uh, I guess we're just trying to talk. I'm trying to talk about uh, things that have been going on. I haven't been nearly as active on Maple as I used to be, and I think that's overall a good thing. Like, I'm still logging on, but I'm not even doing dailies consistently anymore, which to some people might be a negative thing, but it, it feels nice not having that... Uh, not necessarily confinement, but that uh, that FOMO regarding like, oh, if my symbol isn't leveled up, I can't participate in endgame bosses, blah, 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 blah. But like, it's nice. It's nice not feeling that way. Uh, finals just concluded for me, so maybe you'll be seeing a bit more videos from me for the time being. But like, at the same time, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, before finals concluded, though, um, I had an excellent semester overall, but before finals concluded, I, I live on the East Coast, so I drove out to Tennessee to visit my best friend, or to see my best friend. He actually lives in on the East Coast as well, but he took a job in San Francisco and he was driving back to the East Coast. So I met him, not even remotely halfway or even a quarter of the way, but I met him in Tennessee so we could go bouldering together uh, at this place called, God, Stonefort or Little Rock City. It's apparently a pretty nice bouldering area, and it was. I had a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately, or for, fortunately, for uh, outdoor climbs, I'm only like a V2 climber. In gym, I can climb up to like a V6, V5, V6, V6, V6 V6 is where I'm at. Uh, but yeah, outdoors is a lot more... I'm not willing to go for as risky of maneuvers, or and nor am I as confident, especially since like the climbs are a bit more uh, solidified. Uh, I mean, granted, it's rock, it's always solid. But, I don't know, it was a lot of fun, it was a lot of fun, it was great seeing my buddy again, he's been gone for almost a year, and he's my best friend from high school, probably, he's one of my two best friends, uh, and it was, it was nice, it was nice to have that, like, three little, that three day break before my big final, granted, uh, I, even though I did have a great semester, uh, got A's in every class, the one class I needed a B in, I got a B minus in, uh, <laughs> It's not like the end of the world or anything, it just means that I have to get a B in the next math class I take, otherwise I will be- I have to get manually approved for certain classes, which is just an annoyance by talking to advising and all that. And there's always the chance they don't manually approve me too, but I doubt that'll be the case since my grades are overall good in the rest of my courses. It's just like, and I think I, I missed the B. I got a B minus and it was an 81.78. I needed an 82 for reference. So I, I emailed the professor. I doubt anything will come of it, but in, if he's nice enough, maybe he'll give me something. Maybe, like bump my, my points up by slightly. I know he already curved, so I'm not expecting that. And I already, I did the best I could. Like I really got myself together for the final and I could have definitely studied harder, uh, but this was more of a matter of just studying earlier and studying more consistently than it was uh, versus studying harder at the very end if that makes sense um so i i reaped what i sowed and you know i did the best i could for what uh what i was capable of at the time but like i'm i'm not super upset like definitely disappointed but not upset um other than that like the cr this semester and overall has been fantastic. I like I joined the rock climbing club and I've been bouldering a lot more and taught even learned how to top rope a bit, uh, or got more experience with top roping. Um, I met a girl at a career fair, which was oddly oddly enough, or well, I think it's funny, but um, standing in line to talk to my best friend who was represent my other best friend who was representing one of the companies uh, there at the career fair. And this girl approaches me, and <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm kind of, I'm an anxious dude, but like, 
I can talk apparently pretty decently because she asked me for my LinkedIn, which was like, okay, whatever, you're, we're never gonna talk to each other again, but this is a professional event. Sure, you can have my LinkedIn. Uh, we kept talking and she was like, you're a business student, right? And I'm like, and no, I'm not, I'm, I'm CS. She's like, you don't seem like CS is what she told me. I was like, very confused by that statement. I was like, what do you mean? I don't seem like CS. She's like, your soft skills are too good. I was like, apparently CS guys are not known for being able to talk to women, I guess. I don't know. But she's like, you're also too nice to be a frat boy. So I was, I, I just pinned you as a business student that wasn't involved in the fraternities. And I was like, okay, how old do you even think I am? She's like 20. I'm 24 for reference. I mean, she's like, how old do you think I am? I'm like 22. She's like, I'm 28. <laughs> So you know, this it was just a it was just a mess of a interaction. I feel it was funny, but mess. I don't even remember, but she somehow got my phone number uh, because I remember telling my friends about it. They're like, "Are you gonna text her?" I'm like, "No, she's never gonna text me, so it doesn't matter. Like, there's no point in interacting." Little did I know she would be texting me like the following day, like the following week. Um, so it's been like. I don't know, it's interesting, because I haven't really traditionally dated ever. Like, this is... I, don't, I wouldn't even say we're, like, we're not official or exclusive in any capacity yet, either. But, like, it was just different. <laughs> like, it evolved naturally, I think, but it's... It's just different, like... Uh, the last time I did it was long distance, and... For lack of like, it was a it was a good experience, but it, it was very difficult, as you would expect with long distance relationships. And uh, we did the best we could for what it was, and it lasted for as long as it could uh, until it wasn't working out anymore. But I guess with this relationship, I had it so ingrained in my head, uh, especially by seeing like my parents talk about like how they met that like you're supposed to be friends before you start dating. Uh, but like. I think I'm realizing now that you can date to like learn who they are first and then figure out if you want to go forward as exclusive, you know? And that never occurred to me as like an option. I don't know. It's... It's different. Very different. But... We went- I went on my first date, like first actual date with her last night. I met her back in... I think October? She went on a trip to uh japan and then came back and we got launch but like those were outings like i didn't i didn't know what to think like i said i had it ingrained in my head that like you're supposed to be friends first but i brought her to a friend's giving so that was this was now november uh and i remember being told like you need to talk to her about it like how, how you feel and i was like i don't know man all right, that was what I was saying for the longest time, but like, like my friends are right, you know, it's better to communicate and get it like out of the way instead of like putting around or like you know, pussyfooting around or whatever the terminology is. That's probably not the right term. My apologies. Um, but you know, she is older than me. It's a f three, four year age gap, depending on what time of year it is. Meaning like it's like three point five years age gap, but so most of the year she's older than four years ahead of me. So like I understand the reservations. Uh, and I was completely expecting her to say, no, you're too young, but she said she had to think about it, which was not what I was expecting. I was expecting to get, like, shot down and just, like, be friends, you know? I'm like, okay. She thinks about it. We go to a cafe or something, like, something. You know, yeah, we went to a cafe. She throws the ball back into my court, and I'm like, what, what the? <laughs> I wasn't, I was expecting you to say no. Now I have to think. Uh, it's like, I don't want to think. My brain, I'll hurt myself or something, like, thinking too hard. But, she, she I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say I don't know a lot, but, like, it's, I'm out of my element. I'm trying my best. I got chewed out for wearing grunge wear at one point, because that's, like, all I wear is, like, flannels and, like, graphic tees, or, like, like, very stark colors. I mean, as you would expect from, like, you know, the number one Thunderbreaker, of course. So I got chewed out by that, and I was like, damn. I, like, I was, you know, I could have done, like, leaned harder into it and been like, yeah, no, this is what I wear because this is what I like. And it is what I like. But she wasn't wrong. It was the only thing I ever wore was, like, flannels. 
So I went out with another pretty extroverted girl to like get my wardrobe updated or, you know, get new clothes as my, you know, like, the standard way to say it. And it was funny on the first date last night, she was like, I didn't even, she didn't even recognize it. She, she almost didn't recognize me because like of the clothing I was wearing. Apparently I changed it up that much. It was, I think the only other comment I can remember is she, she told me I looked like I listened to indie music when I like, when I was in my, when I wear flannels. And I was like, you know, that's fair. That's, that's valid. And she's like, now, nah, apparently with my get up last night, I looked like I, I, I go to orchestras, orchestra, orchestra. I would listen to orchestral pieces and go to the opera. So my buddy Jer was telling me if you can't look like your dad would sue another person's dad over like some stupid fight you're not doing it right and i you know like i'm inclined to trust him so i feel like i did it right because i got a seal of approval from multiple people and you know it's like it's just expanding the wardrobe like get, feeling comfortable in like clothes i'm not used to and i think that's what like the majority of this year has been for me is just getting used to being outside my comfort zone like, I love Maple Story, don't get me wrong. And it's a comfort game, comfort coping activity. But it's not like my, <laughs> it's not my go to anymore. Like, for whatever. Like, it's my go to if I'm going to play video games, but it's not like my every day, every hour activity anymore, which is different. Like, I still talk and communicate to people who are in the scene, like, a lot. But, like, for reference, like, my sixth job, I think I have level, like, my. My mastery core is level eight and like my origin skills level one. I have nothing else unlocked. So that's basically only dailies. Uh, and I skipped dailies too. So like I, I probably did a bit of grinding somewhere, someplace somewhere. But like it's not, I have not made a ton of progress. It's, it's just very different right now. And like I'm getting more and more used to it. And it's, it's nice. <laughs> Like, it's weird, but it's nice. Like, I still have, like, a lot of stupid inside jokes uh, with people. Like, my I put my professional headshots in uh, my guild Discord, and someone compared me to the Mr. Ignition NPC from, uh, from the Ignition event, obviously. Uh, and that has been my nickname as of late. I told the girl I went on a date with that a while ago, and that's what my name is saved as in her phone. So whenever I do something uh, extremely efficient or productive or fast, you know, Mr. Ignition's at it again kind of thing. Um, <laughs> it's a stupid joke, but I enjoy it. I, I didn't like it at first because it felt like really like people were taking the piss out of me, and they were, but like, it's it's all in good fun, and it's like it's. It's like leaning into it, it makes me like, like I was embarrassed by it at first, but like, you know, at the same time, it's it's funny. It is funny. Like Mr. Ignition is a good looking guy. So, you know, I should take pride in that. Like compare, being compared to like, you know, manager, Korean manager, dude, uh, corporate looking guy. I mean, he has a gun too. I mean, like, not that that is important, but like, I think he had like that animation where he spun around with a gun. Um, I don't know. I've just overall coming from like not doing so great with like mental health for a long period of time of life, like, and like feeling like I was just kind of like not coasting even, but like I was just drifting uh, through life and like just doing the bare minimum to say I was doing something. Like taking the bare minimum amount of credits at a uh, community college to say I was getting through college, working a retail job to say I was working. Like, it's just different. Like, I think the ambition for wanting to be better and do better is finally there. And I think it's been paying off because like by socializing and like meeting new people, I've I've started to build a life that I'm proud of. And like, yeah, I again, like I'm not un disproud of like my achievements in Maple. Like, my Black Mage clear is still something I look back on very fondly. The friends I made through that eight-month journey, and even just before that, my, like, the bossing I've done with people. It's, it's nothing that I, it, I would never take it for granted. Like, never. Like, the guild I'm in now, like, like, 
sometimes I like I, I debate leaving because it's not like the end game of end game guilds, but the community it has is the com community I want to be around. Like I've been poach, I've been uh, there's been attempts to poach me for numerous other guilds before, but like it's it's not where I'm gonna be <laughs> or who I'm going to be. So I stay in Eternal, and it's like, yeah, you could argue it's because it's comfortable and I don't want to leave my comfort zone, but it's also because, like, I don't think I really need to pursue something greater when I'm happy, I'm content. I guess that's what my grandmother always told me, is, like, it's better to be content consistently than happy every once in a blue moon. Does this have good burning? Yes, it does. Thank God. Oh, jeez, I've been talking for 15 minutes. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm just over the moon, like, yeah, I gr granted, I'm riding the high from a successful first date, for sure. I mean, we've, she and I have gone out before, but they weren't dates. But, I don't know. Ignition is, Mr. Ignition is on the come up, I guess, if, if he wasn't before, no. And it's, <laughs> it's a nice change of pace. Like, I was- I've been winning for a while, like, I'm, like, both in Maple and in life, but to actually acknowledge that you're, like, doing well is, like, a different topic, I feel. Like, it's a different story once you, like, realize it yourself that you're doing well. And I- I guess I talk about this stuff is because, like, I hope someone else- hope someone else can find, like, you know, solidarity in it, too. Okay, I don't have another 30-minute EXP one. Ah. Uh, but, like, I, I hope someone else can, like, you know, maybe see, like, some reason to go out there and experiment, too, with themselves. You know, like, try different things, socialize a bit more, X, Y, and Z. That's the wrong button. Uh, and at, at the end of it, it's like, my my buddy, my best friend said, said to me, uh, the one I was out in Tennessee with, he said, the way you spend your days is the way you spend your life. And it's like, I wouldn't mind spending my days playing MapleStory. But even though I wouldn't mind it, would I be absolutely content with that or like satisfied with that? And I don't think I would be, which is why I'm not a big content creator or grind that out like some people do. It's because it's not what I really want to do with myself. Like, I enjoy making content, I really enjoyed being, like, quote-unquote, the face of Thunderbreaker, as some of the other top sharks tell me. But... It's... not... <laughs> I'm just glad Revy's around now, because, like, now we have a- we have a Thunderbreaker idol that is actually active in the scene. Like, consistently active. I'll try and cut out the awkward pauses and whatnot from this, but who knows, maybe I'll just let it run. Again. Just... Just... Just out here doing my best, and... My best actually feels like it's good enough for once. Uh, like, I'm gonna continue playing Maple, I'm con gonna continue enjoying my guilty pleasure. But at the same time, I don't think I'm going to <laughs> let it... Control how I interact with the world anymore, like... I know if this was like a couple, like even probably a year ago, right? Like if I if I told myself I want to go to Tennessee, I would have like had to have like stopped at night to do my dailies because you know I can't miss a day of dailies. But like I just enjoyed myself. I went climbing. I had good, ate really good food, and you know drove a lot. But I was like, but I wasn't like worried about getting my dailies done for once. I was just like, if it gets done, it gets done. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I don't think I even batted an eye. Like, I didn't even think about it until I got home. I was like, oh damn, I missed three days of dailies. But that's a much different reaction to how it would have been when I was younger, where I would be like, holy shit, what's wrong with me for missing those three days of dailies? Like, that's this is like all I do. You can't miss the one thing you do. I don't know. Maple Street was a good structure for me in terms of like how it laid out my days for me, uh, in terms of like what I wanted to do with myself at the time and what I needed to do with myself at the time. But like nowadays it's, <laughs> it's like, it's actually a pastime, which is nice. It's not 
not like my sole life's mission to be the number one Thunderbreaker or the best in whatever I do. And I think that's like a good thing because like my mom has always told me like life is phase like there's phases of life and like no matter what you think is permanent it's it's everything's temporary kind of thing and you know like you can look at that very in a sad light or somber light or like you know a happy light but like it is there's a lot of merit in it i at least i'm seeing it's like i used to think i would never stop playing certain video games or like i never like get over maple story or i'd never you know x y and z like i'd never get move on with my life kind of thing but like as long as you keep pushing, I think you will. And like, I'm seeing that firsthand now and actually recognizing that it's happened. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm, I'm all, I'm also really giddy right now. You know, had a good first date, which I keep going back to. But I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself, and I think that's the big takeaway for this. And like, like I said, shark speaks aren't necessarily supposed to cover like a huge topic or a huge like maple central topic but like i kind of just want to use them to talk now and if that's not for you you know that's not for you and i don't blame you for not listening to it because this is more for me it's always been more for me the only things that weren't really for me was like the thunderbreaker informational videos because that was to make sure other people understood what like the class was was and where it was at and like just be informative there but like Everything else has been like a personal achievement of mine that I was proud of and wanted to commemorate for myself or commemorate for my friends. Uh, I don't have much else. I'll see you sharks when I see you sharks. Bye-bye.